Hello friends, this is the next tutorial in DBMS series. Today we are going to learn how can we install MySQL database. We use XAMPP package for that. In this, uh, in this tutorial we use XAMPP package for that. XAMPP is a free and open source cross platform web server solution. It consists Apache, MySQL, PHP, Perl and Tomcat. So we are going to learn how we can install a XAMPP package in Windows. So we are, we are starting from the first process. It is uh, we have just this click on this XAMPP folder then click on this XAMPP installer select the language English okay this is the welcome setup wizard the default location is C XAMPP in the C drive install so our installation is begin Okay, so now the complete team the XAMPP setup wizard. Now click on finish. Now the congratulations, the installation was successful. Start the XAMPP control panel now. Yes. Now we have this XAMPP control panel application. In this, we have Apache, MySQL, FileZilla, and Mercury. We have to start this. Uh, it's already start for stop. We have just click on stop and now as per our requirement we have to know how we can connect a client to mysql server the process is very simple just click on the uh, start write cmt for the command prompt now we have the command prompt then just click on that just write uh, cd uh, backward slash and enter now we are on the starting point of the C now first how uh, we reached at the MySQL for this purpose we have to click on the C drive as we know that our XAMPP is installed in C click on XAMPP now in XAMPP we have MySQL click on that and in uh, MySQL we have B folder click on that here we can uh, connect our client to MySQL server just close this and just go here write cd XAMPP okay cd MySQL okay cd bin again write down MySQL slash u root p now at the installations we does not provide any password so we have to keep it blank and thus just press enter and now we have welcome message for the mysql monitor that our monitor is connected to mysql server so that is the process how we can connect our client to mysql server in further series we have used this uh, command prompt for all practical uh, like transaction management, integrity constraints, view and many more sub queries and all the operation related to SQLs we have to perform in this uh, through these tutorials. So it's very important for all of you. Thank you.